What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. I look crazy right now, and it's because I have my glasses on. For breakfast, uh, we went to a uh, diner for lunch. I had nothing, and for dinner, um, we had uh, chicken pot pie, and that was very good. That's my parents show in the background, I'm sorry about that. Let's see if I can make this lighting a little better. That's okay. Um, you know, so, yeah, I woke up at 7, um, I cleaned my boots, I'm gonna clean them again tomorrow, because it wasn't that good of a clean. Um, I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, and, uh, we went to this diner. I thought the food was good, I got biscuits and gravy and scrambled eggs and sausage and hash browns and I had some of my mom's toast, because she let me. Um, but, uh, you know, the server didn't, like, refill our coffee very often at all, like, she didn't really refill our coffee, and, you know, I thought the food was great, but my parents thought the food was mid, um, not, you know, my words, not theirs, and, uh, you know, so they ended up, uh, not being very happy with the experience. And then after that, um, went to the local community college and just walked around the gardens there because I was like, man, I need to close my move ring today. And my parents were like, oh, we can go to this garden. So we went to the community college and we just walked around this like green area. It's pretty nice, you know, it's a good area, but, um, <sighs> it's a good area, but you know, it was interesting. Um, and then after that, we're walking back and where you saw the parking lot there, there was like an electric car show going on there. And my dad was like, oh, right. A few months ago, I signed up to drive these, some of these electric cars today. And we just happened to be here. It was so crazy. Like it really just lined up. And my dad totally forgot he had signed up for it because it was like a free thing to sign up for. So he showed up. So we ended up going home because uh, we had to use a restroom and stuff and you know we weren't planning to be out for so long and so we went we came back home and then we went back to the car show and uh my dad drove a tesla model y and my mom drove a mustang mach e um you know i wish <sighs> i'm kind of into teslas and i wish they didn't suck so bad uh the whole time uh, the, the the guy who they're it's it was basically a bunch of people who were just letting us drive their cars you know um, it was just like a car show. I don't know. It was it was held by like the energy company that does the electricity here, um, and I assume it was so then more people got electric cars. But yeah, it was just a whole bunch of people in their cars, and it was just letting them, uh, letting people like us drive them. And uh, you know, the Tesla Model Y, while my dad was driving it, um, you know, it was kind of creaking a little bit, and the driver was talking about how it costs costed a lot of money to replace the panoramic sunroof. It costs like fourteen hundred dollars through Tesla and how the windshield cracked a couple times and it was also just creaky it was a creaky car my parents had never driven an electric car before and something they weren't used to was the regenerative braking for those of you who don't know uh, a very common feature in electric cars is regenerative braking where uh, basically when you instead of like a normal car where you let your uh, foot off the accelerator and the car sort of keeps moving uh, when you take the foot off the accelerator the car stops moving like you're pressing on the brake, but you're not pressing on the brake, you're just letting off the accelerator. Um, and the reason why is because it's like getting the force from the tires and like putting it back into the battery. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but it does result in you using your brakes less because when you let your foot off the accelerator and the car brakes, it's not actually using the brake pedals. It only uses brake pedals. It only uses, it's not actually using the brakes when you let off the accelerator. It only uses the brakes when you put push down on the brake. And you barely have to do that if you have really aggressive um, regenerative braking. So my dad was sort of getting used to it. By the end of the drive, it was just like around the block. He sort of got, had gotten used to it. But it was really interesting. And it's cool to see people's first experiences with technology. Um, it's just so, it's always so interesting. Uh, what else? <sighs> um... Yeah, and then my mom drove the Mustang Mach-E. Of course, it wasn't, it wasn't creaking as much. Um, and, you know, she also had a, a similar experience with the, with the regenerative braking. And uh, yeah, um, both cars were pretty good. I like the 
honestly, I like the Tesla more, but that's just because I'm biased and I know more about them and I know more about the charging network. Honestly, like, I shouldn't be scratching my hand. Honestly, um, I don't know. I think it's all like, I think they're all good cars, but all the electric cars are gonna switch to NACS pretty soon, which is Tesla's charging standard. So I think it's best to hold off on buying electric cars generally right now. My parents are planning on buying hybrid anyway, so you know. Um, yeah, so then we went home uh, and I proceeded to do the longest run of my life, for real. Um, I basically jogged on the treadmill for an hour and 24 minutes. Um, I ran for eight miles. I burned 1,026 calories. And my average heart rate was 148. And altogether today I burned 1,500 calories, which is pretty good. I'm happy about it. Um, then I went back upstairs and took a shower and, you know, then we ended up having chicken pot pie and it was very good generally today um i bought a water bottle a 40 a new 40 ounce water bottle because the lid on my old water bottle was kind of broken and college starts soon and the time it would take for me to get it just buy a new lid and have the new lid show up um would be more would it would take longer than if i just bought a new water bottle off amazon so i'm buying a new water bottle it's a little silly but you know why not, right? I'm also buying a calculator. Um, and the reason why is because I was looking at the syllabus for my math course and it was recommending that you buy like a very specific calculator. And um, it was like a Texas Instruments like, like, like dot matrix calculator, right? Um, and it wasn't, it, does, it didn't look very good. Um, and it's definitely way worse than my TI-84 plus CE here with a color screen color display um it, it's a way worse calculator than this but it said that it was the only one that they recommend this specific calculator because it's the only one supported by the class i don't know what that means because you can do everything on that calculator that you, you could do everything on this calculator that you could do on that one but i honestly think that means that they're going to be showing off like powerpoint presentations or something or, where it's like, hey, this is how to do this on the calculator, you know, and it's gonna be for that calculator, you know, not like my calculator, right? So I, in the class, I wouldn't immediately know how to use it. It was only a $20 calculator. I know what seem like frivolous purchases way add up over time, right? But you know, this one, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I also finally set up an emergency fund. I've decided to set up my emergency fund in SPACs in a brokerage account on Fidelity. Um, I would have done a high yield savings account, but I already have a Fidelity account and SPAC's interest rates are crazy. It's like 4.95%, which is just insane. Just so, it's so crazy. 4.95%, that's so crazy. That's crazy, right? So um, I just set it up in Fidelity and it doesn't seem like a super bad idea. Um, and then yeah, that was pretty much it. I washed my jeans, so now they're air drying downstairs. Um, yeah, all right. I think that's it. I'm also trying to get my channel on Odyssey. I was trying to get my, for those of you who don't know, Odyssey is sort of a YouTube competitor. Um, you know, of course it has the same issue as a lot of YouTube competitors, whereas all people who got like kicked off of YouTube, it seems like, so uh, there seem to be Quite a few crazy people who aren't allowed on, on YouTube. But, um, you know, what can you do, I guess? I, I actually, don't quote me on that. I actually don't know what the current situation is on, on Odyssey. But, um, uh, but I'm trying to get my channel on there. I, I, I tried in the past, I tried to get Leo the P.O. on Odyssey, but you needed 300 subscribers or above to have your YouTube channel sync with Odyssey and have it automatically upload videos on there. And I tried it anyway, and it still doesn't let me, even though their terms changed and it can be anybody over a hundred subscribers now, I think. Um, so their terms changed, but it still won't let me. So I'm going through an email with the Odyssey support team and we're figuring it out. Um, we're figuring it out as if I'm not just some, some, some 18 year old, right? But you know, I, I'm emailing the Odyssey support team. My video should be on Odyssey. Uh, and I just want my videos in different places. I think it's like diversification of the portfolio, you know? 
I've been watching too many financial videos. That That's the truth. Okay. Man, I've been recording for 10 minutes. That's crazy. I got tapping working on my ThinkPad. Uh, what? Um, God, glasses change my face shape so much. I look like a different person. It's crazy. Um, so previously, I used to only be able to click, like, like do a click on my ThinkPad, but now you, on my trackpad, on my ThinkPad, but now you can just tap. So that's cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, see you, dude.